Hey, welcome back everybody to another segment of Impact on Life. I am your host, Greg Adela. With me today is a friend of mine who is a local attorney here in the Capital District. She's also a wish granter for the Make-A-Wish Foundation, and she also has a blog called Pay It Forward at the Albany Times Union Online. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome Mary Kenny. Hey, Hi. Mary, how's it going? Great, thank thanks. you for having me. You're welcome, and thanks for being here. And let's get right out of the way today. Happens to be your birthday too, so very it cool. Is. So happy thank birthday you. from uh, the whole staff here, which is the whole day and I. So yes. well, it's awesome. <laughs> thank and, you for uh, having me on my birthday. Uh, uh, you're welcome. It's very a great much. present. Uh, it is and it's a beautiful uh, birthday yellow. Thank you. So very cool. So <laughs> let's get into now. What, what's nice? So we met a couple years ago, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, what, what I think is is unique in what you have going on to this area is because you're not from the capital district. You're from. I'm Tell from Connecticut. Them. Yep, I moved here in 2004, mm -hmm. and I've been practicing law since I arrived here, yeah. and uh, getting involved in other aspects of the community. Sure. Such as the uh, the Times Union blog. Yep. Granting wishes for Make a Wish, and some various other things along the way. No, it's very good, and uh, some some stand up comedy too. Yes, I've dabbled in that. <laughs> yeah, it's very <laughs> awesome. Yeah, Mary's actually played uh, a couple of my uh, uh, Brouhaha comedy showcases. Mm -hmm. Um, at, at local uh, corporate events, so it's been it's been very cool. So yeah, let's talk about that because something that I, I've gotten involved with a little bit and, yeah. and got I should say with more awareness is the uh, local chapter of, of Make a Wish uh, Foundation, which is tremendous. I mean, yep. seriously, I mean there are some great people, mm -hmm. and the executive director Bill Trigg and and uh, the, the people at that office have been it really is. nice. It's a, it's a great treatment. office. Um, I've been involved with them as a wish granter. I've also volunteered in their office mm -hmm. uh, for a few months last summer. Um, and I can say, you know, wholeheartedly, they're just a wonderful group of people. Um, Make-A-Wish, I can give you a little bit of the background if you'd like. Sure. Uh, Make-A-Wish started in 1980 yeah. in uh, Arizona with a group of uh, police officers. Mm -hmm. um, since 1980, we've granted over 280,000 wishes. Uh, the Northeast New York chapter, of which I'm a wish grantor, mm -hmm. last year we just granted um, our 1,200th nice. wish. So it's a, it's a landmark, and we're celebrating our 25th anniversary this year. Ah, oh, that's fantastic. Yep. All right, that's getting up close. So, yeah. Yep. Great. Well, let's see. Well, to celebrate that, I know that they want to try to commemorate this in, in a giant way, and I think they're going to try to shadow <laughs> what, what occurred last year, that yes. uh, last fall, at uh, an event that, that we were part of, and, and right. tell the viewers about last that, too. I'm sorry. <laughs> that, that, that was a great time, by the way. Last year, I uh, organized a fundraiser uh, with the help of uh, the Make-A-Wish office. Um, it was Lawyers Leap for Wishes. There were nine of us, uh, local people in the community, um, other attorneys, yourself as well, yeah. uh, CEO Bill Trigg. We all went skydiving, and uh, we raised yeah. a little over $8,000 for Make-A-Wish with that event. So this year, being the 25th anniversary of Make-A-Wish, okay. we're going to be doing the second annual skydive. Whoa, wishes, no way. That's and awesome. And we want to try to get 25 jumpers this year. Very cool. So well, I've there already you go. signed so, you up. Oh, I'm already signed oh, up. Great. I'm going <laughs> to fall from a... A perfectly good airplane at 9,000 feet again, folks. So, uh, <laughs> uh, so that's good. So people could, how could people maybe, you know, that are viewers that are interested in skydiving or just want to be interested within the foundation and, and for their 25th anniversary, how can they get a hold of them? Uh, Make a wish. You can find right online. Uh, it's the Northeast New York chapter, which is neny.wish.org. Okay. Um, you go there. All the information is there. The skydiving event this year, the details are not up yet. Mm -hmm. uh, we're still in the early planning stages. It's probably going to happen. Uh, late August, early September. Nice. Uh, but if you check back, the information will be there. Um, but as far as you know, getting involved in Make a Wish, uh, wish granting, and other volunteer opportunities, all that information is also on the site. Um, but I would like to talk a little bit about you know the wish granting process. Oh uh, sure, sure. Um, if that's okay. Sure. <laughs> um, wish granting is basically just you know what the name says. Uh, two wish granters. You meet with the family. Uh, when a child has been determined by their doctor that they are medically eligible, which means that they have a life-threatening medical condition. Mm -hmm. uh, the wish granters meet with the child and their family, and it's our mission to find out what their heartfelt wish is, um, to really get to the heart of it. Um, there's a misconception that these children are sometimes, you know, kind of on their deathbed, for lack of a better way to put it, but they're not. They're at all stages, you know, of their illnesses. Many of them live into adulthood. They have families of their own. Um, so once they're determined to be medically eligible, we help plan their wish, and you know we don't just throw them on a plane right, off right. to Disney, which a lot of people think. Right. Uh, wishes can, you know, they're they're very unique, and we go to great lengths to make them uh, very personalized and special. 
uh, for the child. Oh, absolutely. So it's, it's, a, yeah. it's a great, it's such a fun process. It is very cool. In fact, I, I, well, I was part of one last fall. Yes, you were. Wh which was cool. <laughs> and uh, what, what happened was, uh, I, was uh, I decided, to, I was asked uh, by Mary to help out mm -hmm. with a, a wish child of yours, mm -hmm. to, uh, and he was, he's a fan of, uh, um, of Batman and Robin. He's a huge fan of <laughs> a Batman and Robin. Four-year-old so, boy. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, he is quite sick. Uh, and he spends the majority of his time, if he's not uh, at doctors or hospitals, he's in his bedroom at home. Right, right, yeah, yeah. So he absolutely loves Batman and Robin. So as you know, we did a room makeover for him. Uh, yeah. We basically created <laughs> a bat cave. Absolutely. Yeah, I know. Right. The, the room came out beautiful. He's he's a really great kid. And, and uh, my friend Steve and I, uh, mm -hmm. my, my friend Steve Murray, uh, a local... Uh, Radio celebrity uh, around town. Mm -hmm. He he was part of it as well, and he yep. he played he Batman. Batman. <laughs> and I Robin. played Robin. It was it, it was, was it was literally this little boy's dream come true. That's the second time in my <laughs> adult life, it, true story. Second time in my adult life I've ever dressed up um, in a in Halloween costume. costume. <laughs> yeah, ever, <laughs> ever yeah. Um, but that that's very good, and, and it's mm -hmm. a great foundation and 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 great people. So, but, and and how. And what's great, what also you do within a community, and you can juxtapose the two, you know, the whole theme of, 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 of giving back and everything, mm -hmm. is your blog at the Albany Times Union, which is, which is called Pay It Forward. Right. It's uh, Pay It Forward, and it's about anything and everything having to do with volunteer work, mm -hmm. um, events happening in the area. Um, I try to feature local businesses, local individuals, you know, just kind of anything and everything that falls under the realm of volunteerism, charity works. Uh, benefits and fundraisers, right. that type of thing. Um, I try to keep it broad. Mm -hmm. Try to keep it interesting. Yeah. And, uh, no, you do a good job with it. I've met a lot of really great people. You know, in the yeah. time that I've been doing that. Sure. No, no, no. It, it, you, you do a great job of it. And, and what's good is it's it's more about the greater community. You know, right. the capital district really needs to just tighten up everything. And I think it's a good time in 2012 to turn a page. And, and have things work and, and try maybe perhaps a different direction. <laughs> and I think that's good. And it starts with the community. We need to work as a jigsaw puzzle yeah. and then expand back. So that, that's a great job. It's good. I think it's working. I, I have people that you know kind of reach out to me randomly like, hey, I'd like to get involved in mm -hmm. you know working with senior citizens or children. And they ask me for suggestions. And it's kind of become a, a conduit um, for people you know, in the community to kind of find a resource of, of where they can get involved. Absolutely. So. And that can be found at that's Albany. What is it's that? The, the timesunion.com right, slash Times Union webpage um, under all their blogs under the causes and issues section. Yeah, but timesunion. <laughs> oh, the actual address. Boy, <laughs> that was a long answer. How are you going to find that? <laughs> I think it's no, no, no. Times Union. I think it's, it's it should be timesunion.com slash pay it forward. Slash pay yeah, it forward. Timesunion.com right. slash pay it forward. Yeah, that was great. You got these people spinning out of control. It's <laughs> terrible. I should know the actual address. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's fine. That's good. It's good. Uh, but that's great. So uh, I want to thank you again, seriously, for coming in and Thanks spending your time. Me. Absolutely. I wish you a happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> that's so <laughs> awesome. You, you spent time on your birthday with us. Um, but thank you very much. Thank and you. I, I think you do a great job um, with, with everything that you do within the community. Try to make awareness for volunteerism and, and especially uh, Make-A-Wish Foundation. Yeah, it's so a great organization. It is. If anybody's looking for a volunteer opportunity, check us out online. Very nice. There's all kinds of stuff you can do. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank I appreciate you. it. Thank you. All right, folks, that'll do it. My guest again, Mary Kenny, a local attorney and also a wish grinner for Make-A-Wish and has a blog at the Albany Times Union, Pay It Forward, which can be found at timesunion.com slash pay it forward. So until the next episode of Impact on Life, I'm your host, Greg Adela. Take care, everybody. Great job, Greg. That was really interesting. So that's our show for today. We hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget, we're interested in hearing from you. Or if you have any questions or comments, we're at impact at proctors.org or through Facebook. And please do be in touch with us. I'm Karen Johnson. I've been filling in for Nick Barber. I've really enjoyed this experience, and I hope we see you again. Proctors, bringing the best in arts, education, and entertainment.